excuse me. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking for uh, deliverance from evil, defeating terrorism, despotism, liberalism, and treason, and liberal treachery from the Cold War to uh, the War on Terror. Do you have those? No, we don't have those titles in stock, but I'd be happy to order you a copy. Well, are you sure you don't have them? Maybe you should look in your computer. No, I'm I'm sure about those titles, yes. Why not? What is this, a uh, liberal bookstore? Huh? No, actually... Oh, I know, I know. Right. You don't want your customers to read anything that doesn't reflect your particular point of view. No, actually, if you'll check out our political science section, we have a wide range of opinions on many different crimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been there. How could, you don't have uh, Ann Coulter or Sean Hannity. Well, you know, those books don't tend to sell really well here, so we don't have them in stock at the moment. But like I said, I'd be happy to get them in for you. Well, how, to, how am I going to buy them if uh, you guys don't sell them to me? Well, you know, I will call around to a couple other bookstores and see if they have them in stock. They're readily available online. Otherwise, like I said, I'd be happy to get them in for you. Yeah, and why would you do something like that? Well, you know, I believe that you should have your book. I'm against censorship in all forms, and I think you should have it. Yeah, well, it sounds like a lot of hypocrisy to me. I wouldn't buy a book here if, uh, if you paid me. Well, you know... It's really nice that the system gives us choices. Did you have a good day off? I did. I had a great day. As a matter of fact, I read this book by Christopher Finan. Um, he's the president of the American Booksellers Foundation for Free Expression, and he that's the foundation that helps booksellers voice their concerns and fight against censorship. And so I met him, and he was so sweet and cute. He's really, really cute. We, I know. Yeah. We missed, you missed something yesterday. Brad Pitt was here. No way! Yeah, he's so cute! Yeah, and what a reader. He, he nearly bought off the store. Oh my gosh, what did he buy? He bought Raw Shark Decks, Winnie the Pooh, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Sex, 3rd edition. He said the second edition wasn't very good. He also pre-ordered Harry Potter 7. He's a real Harry Potter fan. He even said he has his own cape. I was here yesterday. It was really exciting. Uh, has he been here before? Yeah. I'm not sure. Let me look. It says he was here in January. What did he buy then? I got Adoption for Dummies. Oh, he's not dumb. This doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, who wants to see what books Brad Pitt bought? Oh, I do. Let's check it out. What? Let me see. Oh, let me see. You are a I have that one right there. Let's print it out. I'm going to print it out. Hey, does anybody else want to see this? Hello. Hi. Are you the owner of the store? Yes, I am. How Great. can I help you? I'm Detective Ben Gregory with the Sheriff's Department. We're investigating a murder, and we hope that you can help us. I'll be happy to help you, but I should tell you we have a privacy policy, and we don't give any information about our customers' reading choices without a subpoena. Yeah, I'm well aware of your privacy policy. I live in the neighborhood. Shopped in here a few times myself. In fact, my neighbor used to work here. Who's that? Lynn Cullen. Oh, Lynn, sure. Yeah, he's a great guy. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm well aware of your Privacy Act, and uh, I hope you'll protect my privacy. Absolutely. You know, the average American doesn't have to worry about the government reading over their shoulder. I mean, that's what this country's all about. Anyway, we're compiling a list of suspects, and we're hoping you can check your records, tell me if any of your customers have bought a book on poison in the last 60 days. Oh. Uh, we are looking at one person in particular. Who's that? That's Orin Domnitz. O R I N D O M N I T Z. Oh, yeah. Well, he. Yeah, he's bought some books from us. Great. Can you give me a list of the titles, please? I'm sorry. Without a subpoena, we can't give you any information. Yeah, but this is very tough.
time sensitive. We have to hurry up. This guy could be planning another murder. I mean, this is a community bookstore. The community is depending on you. Well, our customers are depending on us to keep their records secret. And you'll have to come back with a subpoena, and we'll have to talk to our attorney, and then I hope you'll understand. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I'll be back. Hello, Abby. We've got a problem. <laughs>